through Turkey's Congress to probe killing of labor leaders. Nonetheless, Philippine workers group call for a congressional inquiry into the killing of labor leaders after another union organizer was shot dead in traffic by unidentified assailants on Sunday. Rene Matuto, National Chairman of the Partido Mundagawa, PM, made the call shortly after the killing of his group vice chairman, Dennis Pequena. Dennis is a community leader and has no personal enemies. We believe this is an extrajudicial killing for his work as a labor organizer, Matuto said. He was active in assisting campus workers facing labor problems and advising workers who are unionizing as a means to improve wages and working conditions. On Sunday morning, the plane was shot by motorcycle riding gunmen while he was attending a meeting of workers in Durani Bunga in Kansas. The plane was brought to General Trias Maternity and Pediatric Hospital, where he died. In December last year, the Nesh Kaisa, Labor Coalition expressed alarm over the killings and harassment of union leaders. At the time, PM said that its union organizers received threats while attempting to organize workers at the export processing zones in Capitan in Sebu. A car from Tatuana, former Kaluzang Mayo Uno Taraga headliner's Kaval was also gunned down by a new assailant in his furniture shop in Addison Del Nord in November. In July, a assailant sailed on. Their attempt on Jeffrey Kandungus, the Vice President of the Associated Labor Unions Trade Union Congress of the Philippines. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.